One of the most common questions I get asked almost every day is how to hang flowers on the wall. And I get it, because once you have made all the beautiful flowers that I teach you, you obviously want to securely hang them, right? And preferably not damage the wall. And not damaging the wall is the key word here, because flowers can be hung, for example, on nails. But who needs extra holes in the wall? That's right, nobody needs it. So, there are many different ways how to attach flowers to the wall, much more than I will tell you today in this video. But I want to teach you how I personally do it and my favorite ways. I also want to clarify that in this video I will talk about how to hang pretty lightweight flowers. I will not talk about how to work with large and heavy flowers at a big events and how to decorate commercial and retail spaces. Not in this video. So, with all that being said, let's get started. Today I want to hang up my new summer paper flower set and I will show you step by step how I do it. So, the set consists of flowers of different weights and size and I will use different ways to hang them. Okay, I always start with the largest flowers and in my case uh, the largest flowers in the set are sunflowers. One is large and the other one is slightly smaller. And for large and heavy flowers I always use command hooks. They come in a variety of sizes but most of the time I use these little hooks called decorating or mini light clips and there are also bigger hooks that can hold more weight. Look, my signature sunflowers are not heavy because I deliberately designed the center to be light and not bulky. Uh, in most cases you have probably seen that people are making the center for large sunflowers by uh, rolling and gluing a lot of paper strips together which results in a very bulky and heavy flower. In addition it takes a long time to cut everything out and it's very tedious to make so I came up with a very uh, lightweight center for my sunflower and despite the large size is quite light and I can easily use a small hook for it. But let's pretend this flower is heavier uh, for example, I made a heavier center or I used more petals and more paper and I need to make sure that it will hold firmly on the wall. Or, for example, I need to hang this large rose or this giant peony. These flowers are quite heavy, so I would certainly use a large hook uh, and not the small hook for them. I have already made an eyelet at the flower base and you can make this eyelet from paper, from ribbon, from rope like me, from the wire. It doesn't really matter what it's made of, but what's matter is try to not make this loop too large. It should be tight so the flower doesn't dangle on the hook and it doesn't sag forward but fits uh, snugly against the wall. So this loop should be tight because we want the flower to hang absolutely straight and not lean forward. This is a small but very important tip and it's best to pay attention to it beforehand. Okay, first I always try the flower in the place where I want to attach it. I look where I need to place the hook and then I glue it. My second sunflower is a little bit smaller, so I will hang it on a small hook already. By the way, uh, of course you can find all the links for everything I use in this video in the description box below, so don't forget to check it out. One more large flower in my set is this fluffy blue chrysanthemum. Uh, it's not heavy too because it's made of very lightweight paper, so I will hang it on a small hook too. I 
among the largest flowers in my set and now I'm moving on to the smaller ones. And my next flower is this cute little daisy. And of course I can hang it on a hook too. But since this flower is already pretty light, I prefer different methods. So for medium and small lightweight flowers, I use magnets and sticky tag. Despite all the advantages of the hooks, magnets are more convenient. Because if you make a mistake and attach the hook in the wrong place, you will have to remove it and then use a new hook again. Which means that you don't have a chance for mistake, while the magnets and sticky tag can be easily moved around, which is very convenient. Look, there are generally two types of magnets on the market – ferrite and neodymium. Neodymium magnets are very strong and they are stronger than ferrite magnets. But most often they are smaller, meaning that their surface area is also smaller. And the surface area is more important to us in this case, because we will attach the magnet to the wall with the sticky tag. And no matter how strong the magnets are, we still cannot hang a heavy flower because the sticky tag will not hold it anyway. I hope it makes sense. Of course, you can use neodymium magnets too because they are strong and they can hold very heavy flowers. But then you will have to attach them to the wall not with a sticky tag but with something more durable. Uh, so, most of the time I use ferrite magnets because, because firstly they are cheaper and secondly their surface area is larger. Neodymium magnets I use too, but for very very small flowers I will show it to you later. Okay, let's attach my daisy. I already glued the first magnet to its base with the hot glue and I try on the flower and look where I need to place the magnet. Right here. Then I check which side of the magnet should be attached to the wall and which side to the flower. And then I fix it well with a sticky mass to the wall. Like this. Okay. So like this the flower will securely hold on the wall. And if I make a mistake or I just want to move this flower to another place, I can do it very quickly and easily. That's why magnets are my favorite. Okay, my next flowers are this cute garden roses. One is larger and other two is a little bit smaller. And I will also attach them with the magnets. Perfect. The last flowers I have left to attach are these small little daisies. And such small and light flowers can easily be attached only with a blue tag and be sure that they will hold perfectly. Uh, but keep in mind that, for example, this daisy has a flat center, so I can easily press it down and attach it to, uh, to the wall very well. But sometimes the other flowers have uh, different um, center. Sometimes they have a full and fluffy center and you cannot press on it. You will not be able to stick it to the wall very well, otherwise if you press on it you can crush the flower. And for such cases I use tiny neodymium magnets. They are very small and compact and it's very convenient. Great, I attached all my flowers and it only remains to attach the leaves because it doesn't look good without the leaves. And everything is very simple here. You will only need a sticky tag to attach it and nothing else. And I say just a few words about the sticky tag. It doesn't really matter what kind of sticky tag you use, they are all about the same. I'm just always looking for a good deal and buying a lot of packs, so it's cheaper. That's it. The only thing you can pay attention to is to make sure that the sticky tag is not too soft, otherwise it doesn't hold well. So to attach the leaves I make a very small piece. You only need a few for each branch. And I attach it only by the stem. So the leaves themselves hang freely, creating volume and they are not pressed against the wall and they are not flat. Because I like realistic and 3D effect. I hope it makes sense.
my set is ready. Honestly, guys, I told you all my secrets, tips and tricks about how to securely hang the flowers without damaging the wall. I haven't hidden anything from you, so I hope you will appreciate it and give me likes. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for even more practical videos like this, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.